morning! Salamat po napakamagandang umaga dito po tayo ngayon sa Japan at kung nasan po tayo, papakita ko po sa inyo ang isa sa mga makabuluhang lugar dito sa Tokyo, Japan at andito po ako ngayon sa Zuzoji area kung saan po makikita natin ang pinakamalaking templo na, na, na pinapahalaga nila sa kanilang uh, kaisahisayan andito tayo sa Zuzoji Temple Diyan po sa aking likod, may kita nyo po ang napakalaking gate. Ang tawag po nila dyan ay, naman tawag na dito? Ito ata ay ang Sangha Datsumon. Sangha Datsumon. Napakalaki pong gate niyan. At kung titignan nyo po dito sa likuran, yan naman po ang Daiden. At nasa likod ng Daiden ang isa sa mga tourist spot ng Tokyo. Walang iba kundi ang Tokyo Tower. Diyan naman po ang bell tower Ito sa mga pinakamalaking bell tower ng nung panahon ng Edo period Napakahalaga po nitong uh, lugar na ito dahil dito po nakalagay ang mga labi at ginawang himlayan ng mga dating mga namumuno ng Japan nung panahon ng Edo period Edo period na pinapanmunuan dati ni Aesu Tokugawa at kung nandito kayo, makikita nyo na napakaganda ang tanawin ito. Ito. Medyo maulan-ulan po ngayon dito. At medyo mainit. Kaya sumisingaw po ang init sa lupa. Ang nakikita nyo ngayon ay ang Enko Daishi Hall. So, nung panahon po ng 2009, Diyan po nila ginap po yung Honen Chunin, ang founder po ng Jodo Buddhism. Grabe po. Buti po medyo maganda po ang ang uh, pagkakataon dahil wala po masyadong tao ngayon. Pero kung naging mas mainit pa, malamang hindi po ko makakalakad po dito ng ganito. Napakalaki po ng lugar po na to. At ginawa rin pala nila itong parang base ng mga panahon ng mga shogunate o ng panahon ng mga samurai. Ika nga. So, ayan po, nakikita nyo po sa inyong harapan ang parte ng Tokyo Tower. At yan din po yung Angko Kuden. Yung Angko Kuden po na yan, ginawa po yan noong 2010 bilang isang base at dyan din po nakalagay ang Kurohon Zone ang Black Amida Buddha Statue noong panahon na pinapahalagan ng isang napaka uh, sikat at tanyag na leader lang si A.A. Su Tokugawa ayan po sana po ay Nasiyahan po kayo sa impormasyong akin na pabatid at uh, tutuloy po natin. Magandang umaga po sa inyo ulit at... Hello everyone, another pleasant morning to each and everyone. We're back here in Tokyo. We are now in Tokyo Tower. We're in the main deck. It's around 150 meters um, above ground. So, I'm actually the side where you'd be able to see the Hamamatsu area. So, if you see down below, that is the Sosoji, or the Soji Temple, and beside that would be the Prince Hotel. So if you're coming here to the main deck, Tokyo Tower, uh, the ticket for adults costs around 900 yen, and be able to see this uh, very majestic view. It offers really good uh, experience, especially for people who haven't been to Tokyo. The best way to enjoy Tokyo is to go and do some sightseeing. All right, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Have a nice day. Ladies and gentlemen, we're now back here in Tokyo, Japan. I'm currently in Odaiba, one of the most busiest shopping malls and recreation center over here in Tokyo. Right now, I'm just in front of the Fuji Television building. 
and I think they're having what you call a third in uh, festival. I think the characters of One Piece are actually at the back. They're doing some cosplay exhibition. And that's actually the new Yurukame uh, monorail that extends from Shimbashi to Odaiba and going to the other areas. Actually, this is a very new area. Why? Because previously this is just a reclaimed area and they have developed it into a mega complex. It's a lot of hotels. The Grand Nico is right over there. And the Hilton is right over there and that's Aqua City Odaiba. As you know, just part of the trivia, the Tokyo will be hosting the 2020 Olympics. That will be in August. And there's a uh, limited tickets that were being sale, sold here so if you're planning to go here during those times you better start planning because it's really difficult to get some tickets and what do we have over there they also have the telecom center building over there and the far right side is like a ship port so you'd see a lot of uh, developments last time I was here was like probably around 1999 and it was like 20 years ago so it's really far different to what you're seeing right now so I'll give you more updates later and I hope that you enjoyed this little clip video for you guys so catch you later see ya. walking around here in the Daiba area and I guess one of the things that people actually comes here is to witness one of the iconic anime robot that's being shown in the television for quite a long time and you'd be fascinated of how Japanese anime actually captivated and captured the lives of a lot of people I guess this is something that uh, you know made a lot of influences to a lot of people especially for children growing up during the days in the 1980s and 1990s we're still here near the Zep driver city and you know what I'm trying to talk about is the robot I, I think you guys know about Macross Cyborg 009 but what I'm trying to talk about right now is one of the most famous iconic robots anime that have been uh, shown in television local television here in in Japan and that is none other than Gundam so right now what's being displayed is the Gundam Unicorn. Great. Huge. Like a giant. Line of feel like you wanted to take a ride. So I hope you guys enjoyed this mini clip. And uh, we hope to See you more soon. If you're thinking that we are in some part of the United States because the Statue of Liberty is at the back, you are mistaken. Because we are still in Tokyo. And that is only a replica. You're still in Odaiba. And that part over there is the uh, Fuji Television building. And of course, if you go further, that would be the Tokyo Rainbow Bridge which is like a replica of the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco. Hope you guys enjoy that.
we're here in Japan. Where else? In Tokyo. Currently, we are in Asakusa Temple. And this is the temple area. And that's the surrounding. Now we like to be able to get some memento, like for rituals. A lot of people also pray to their gods because some of them are actually like Buddhist. And you see over there, that's the Tokyo Sky Tree. And this is eventually the main gate of the Asakusa Temple. And that is a magnificent prayer temple. So let's go over there. very peaceful here it's a lot of people because this is one of the main tourist destination over here in Tokyo and uh, yes yeah, it's very famous so crowds of people actually go here during their uh, festival and this is one of the So this is the five-story pagoda. So that five-story pagoda was actually reconstructed in 1973, which you imagine I wasn't born that time yet, and measure around 53.32 meters high. If you see over there, the other side, you can see how it looks like the entire uh, building. It's so cool, and it's huge really appreciate the architecture of the Japanese it's second to none and that's the view from this area and you can see also very clearly the Tokyo sky tree from that place all right I hope you enjoyed this uh, clip and we'll bring you more destinations when we go around. Have a nice day. Again, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. We're here again in Japan. Kung nasaan tayo? We are in Akihabara. Yes, that's the scenes and sights of Akihabara. Did you know that ang Akihabara is the electronic paradise in the world? Bakit? Kasi lahat ng mga electronic devices I'm matatagpuan dito. You'd be able to find whatever you want to find, especially electronic devices, only here in Akihabara, Japan. There are certain uh, establishments that offers very good deals for for appliances and also computer and games. So a lot of people actually storm this place to buy games. And as you can see, my childhood best friend is right over there, Sega. I used to play a lot of uh, console gaming when I was a kid. So I guess you too could discover your child at heart feeling when you're back here in Akihabara, Japan. So see you guys. Hi hey guys, we're back here in Japan. We are now in Amiyoko. Uh, and this is actually near Ueno train station. And this is the place where you'd be able to find a lot of uh, goodies, treats, and some souvenir items that you would like to bring back home in Japan. I mean, in, from Japan. And uh, you'll, you'll be, get, be able to get a good bargain because there will be like uh, a lot of uh, certain uh, sales. Some of the people actually just shout out in their own stalls and they offer a certain type of price. And plus, they keep on putting a lot of goodies in, in the bag itself. So, mga kababayan, dito po tayo ngayon sa Amiyoko. Ito po ay malapit lang sa Ueno Station. Kung kayo po ay mapapadpad po dito sa Japan. At nais nice yung bumili ng mga pasalubong para sa inyong mga minamahal at mga kaibigan. Dito dapat po kayo bumili at napakamura po ng mga bilihin po dito. May mga may kita po kayo, mga candy shops, sapatos, tulad po niya na uh, lang palagi. At yung mga souvenir items. 
yung mga ganito po at marami po kayong may kita mga pagkain dito iba't ibang uri ng pagkain ang mga tinitinan nila dito mula sa mga iba ibang lugar kaya Lina, punta na po kayo dito kung kayo po ay may panahon kumasyal po kayo sa Japan so that's it everyone I hope you guys enjoyed this clip and have a great day If you didn't know about this place, you can eventually have it googled. This is actually where the owner of this place actually bought the world's most expensive tuna. So I hope you guys enjoy this little video and if you have a chance to go to Tokyo, please visit Tsukiji Market. You'll be mesmerized with a lot of choices of food, sushi, and also delectable sumptuous seafood. Guys, we're now here in Tsukiji Market, here in Tokyo. There's a lot of tourists around here, and it's sizzling hot. And I'll be showing you around some food delicacies that are actually available here. As you can see, there's a crab over there. It's around 18,000 yen. And there's a lot of oysters from Hokkaido in Japan. See? It's, it's uh, from Hokkaido. That's where I'm from right now. There's really a lot of food here. So if you're actually here in Tokyo, you better visit Tsukiji and be able to eat fresh crabs like that. We're right now in Tsukiji Market. And at the back, you'd be able to see one of the stalls that are famously visited and frequented by a lot of tourists here in Tsukuji. And that's what you call the standing restaurant. A lot of people actually come here early morning to just take a bite on the fresh sushi that they have caught. So they actually like, uh, you know, people just go and stand on the table right there, order sushi and just eat it and then go. And these are the usual things that you'll be able to see over here in Tsukiji, Japan, uh, in Tokyo. So if you have the chance to visit, please have a bite of this sumptuous delicacy that's being offered only in Tsukiji market. Mm -hmm. 